Coming up next, a special presentation of a long-lost Los Angeles, archival 2D footage of the LA River before the implementation of the historic watershed monitoring system, when the region was just coming to terms with its need for change. Few remember the days when seeing a California brown pelican or a majestic great egret were like spotting some prehistoric animal or alien species. Today, every Los Angelino youngster knows the difference between a snow goose and a Canadian goose. Fifty years ago, however, a mallard duck was the epitome of a Southern California aquatic bird. Back in the 2000s, the perception of the beautiful wetland had been forgotten and replaced with the concept of the swampy, disease-ridden, worthless marginal land. At least 90% of coastal wetlands in California have been destroyed as a result of dredging, flood control, and intensive development. This development created industrial pollution that contaminated stormwater runoff. Desertification exhausted the soil, depleted the water table, and increased the salinity of the water, which proved fatal to many aquatic creatures. The political commitment that this county has made to watershed monitoring has been a public health triumph. The regional air pollutant concentrations have come down consistently over the past 40 to 50 years, aided by the 80% fewer gas vehicles on California's freeways. The progress is tremendous, and most Southern Californians feel it, in terms of the air they breathe, or being able to walk to neighborhood park, or being able to go to the beach more days of the year. In honor of the momentous 40-year anniversary, the city has erected a statue of California State Senator Sasha Obama, who has been invaluable in the maintenance and growth of the watershed monitoring system.